Hello friends and family and welcome to my channel. Today I have taken out one of my bonsai pots for free and some uh, white birch seedlings to make a bonsai forest. Uh, this pot was just uh, left outside during the winter. Uh, I didn't sow any seeds in it, so this is uh, they have uh, naturally germinated in this uh, pot. And it's about three years ago, so uh, I have a good selection of uh, six white birches here. And uh, yesterday I was visiting my mother and she had one she had forgot as well. A white birch approximately five years old, so that uh, is going to be the defining tree for this uh, small forest. So all of them naturally uh, germinated uh, in, in pots, uh, so they are totally uh, without any cost for me. It's just uh, a, w a waiting game until it's uh, ready to put into a pot. So uh, this will give me a bonsai forest for free. So I'm gonna prepare my pot now with some mesh in the bottom and some uh, bonsai wires, used bonsai wire, so that's no cost at all. So the pot is prepared with some uh, mesh in the bottom and some uh, wires to hold the tree into the pot. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the, the ID with the design. So uh, when visiting up north, uh, the mountains in Sweden, uh, when you are on the low elevation, you see a lot of spruce. On the hills, it's uh, a lot of pines. And the further, the closer you get to the limit where no trees can grow, it's more or less only birch. So uh, this is the different. Uh, Envir environments uh, climbing up a uh, mountain in Sweden and the further up you go to the tree limit where no tree lives you will see only birch and you will see crazy weather tortured uh, birch like this I'm gonna show you so this is what a small shrub of uh, weather tortured uh, birches uh, would look like uh, high up in the mountains in Sweden. So uh, something like this I'm gonna try to perform with uh, seven different trees. So uh, let's start with a big one I got from my mother yesterday. I just cut a lot of roots and uh, shoved it into a pot temporarily. So I'm teasing out the old soil. So I have uh, removed most of the soil and uh, I'm gonna rinse the roots well so we can see what we have to deal with. So the first uh, big tree, it has a very strong root in the in curve of a bend here and when we go closer down it seems like it actually has some nice radial roots from this level. So already there is a crazy <laughs> lower bend for, for this tree. And yeah, I'm gonna see how I can uh, figure it out with the uh, angle and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's start to work on the roots. So the first big root in the in-curve I cannot use. 
They're gonna take it off. off. That's it. Crash. I'm gonna try to clean up that wound a little bit. Like so. And there's a few more roots up high that I want to remove. All the roots that goes above my soil level need to be removed. So this uh, tree is going into a very small pot, so we cannot have this long, fine roots at all. So this is approximately where the tree is going to go in that direction. Totally crazy bend, but that's what we have, and that's what we want. Over here, you see there's a crossing root that crosses these other roots that are more radial so I'm gonna take this one off and I take it off just below some of the final roots so I have a quite good radial pattern on the on the roots on this one so let's go and uh, check another so this one was fairly easy quite okay root spread and that's just the tap root going straight down that I need to remove and just cut them in a little bit so they can fit in the pot tree number two done So the next tree have a fairly thick and deep tap root. This one we cannot uh, have in the design like so. And the same with this one, just uh, cut them back to yeah, f fairly good uh, length. So that's the third tree, uh, the radial pattern is not yet there, but uh, it will in the future. So the, so the fourth uh, tree have a, yeah, a fairly small tap root that needs to go away. That's it, and shortening it back a little bit, and this is what we have for tree number four. The fifth tree, you know the drill, tap root off, I shorten it down a little bit. And that's tree number five. So le the last tree is just a very small one. Uh, yeah, it is a tap root, uh, but I think it can be trained uh, going uh, diagonal. So 
just shorten a little bit and we have a fifth tree so next thing I'm doing I'm just wiring the other five trees and make strong bends in them One tree like this. And another one. Number three wired, two, two more to go. Another tree done. So last one done and uh, I'm gonna try to put it everything together in a composition in the pot. So I have prepared a mix of uh, substrates and uh, white birch is a very uh, thirsty tree so this time I'm uh, going quite heavy on the organics and uh, a little bit less drainage. Uh, yeah. I think that uh, is a good mix for this uh, situation, so uh, let's uh, put up some trees then. This is going to be crowded. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but the big one is just far too big for this pot, so I have to do something with the other ones. So I take, starting with the biggest tree that I have left. Cut the roots going out of the pot. And use uh, the wire to hold it in place. Tree number two, just so it can fit in the pot. Can't 
something like this and one lap with the with the wire to have it fixed to the pot defining tree and a fourth tree in the back So now the tricky thing starts, uh, the situation where you wish you had uh, five or six different hands uh, to use. Uh, everything needs to be placed in the perfect uh, location and uh, I use the holder wires to uh, tie them together and uh, yeah, it usually is a mess this uh, part of the work. I really think we are uh, getting somewhere here, so uh, I'm gonna fill it up with uh, with soil and do the last uh, fine adjustments. Thank you. 
So the forest is uh, potted up, I'm gonna clean up as usual and uh, give you a final spin of this uh, project. So we are looking at uh, this uh, composition from the front. Gonna give you a little spin. That's what we have for now and uh, and really the best uh, way to uh, get into bonsai is to uh, work with uh, species that are growing like weed in your area so you just can go out there and uh, pick some uh, seedlings uh, two, three, four years old and uh, start to play with it. Trees for free, pot for free and uh, reused wires and uh, yeah, some soil. I have to spend some, some uh, money on the soil. Otherwise, this is uh, a composition totally for free. And within five to eight years, uh, it will start to get their uh, white uh, color and uh, really look like a high up in the mountain uh, white birch shrub. So last thing before we uh, put this small forest into the overwintering room and start to wake it up for uh, a new season and a new life as a bonsai forest. I'm really looking forward to see this forest uh, develop over the years. I'm really excited to see it get its uh, white bark in a few years. So I really hope you enjoy this uh, video. If you want to see the development of this tree in the future, please subscribe to my channel. So we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, the message I want to uh, send with you from this video is uh, when it comes to bonsai, it doesn't have to be expensive. So really, Use your local species, get your inspiration from your local environment. That's exactly what the Japanese people do. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, stay safe, bye.